You seem to have a pretty cozy relationship with Cohen and Stampanato. Do I note a hint of reprimand in your tone, detective? Talking to gangsters comes with the turf. You should try out Mickey's place. He's got a haberdasher's up on Sunset. See if he can get you out of those old man's clothes that you slink around in. It's a front for his illegal activities. It is that, but he does carry some very sharp suits. If it's okay with you, I'll stick with Brooks Brothers. Yeah, what do you want? LAPD. We're making inquiries into the whereabouts of an Albert Hammond. No one here by that name. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. This isn't the sort of place where people use their real names. Take a look at the register if you don't believe me. That's the guy from the papers. Solved that big case. Okay, so look for prominent Tommies. That should narrow it down. Hey, don't mind me. Winston Churchill. A very patriotic Englishman is staying in room 207. The old bulldog. Even at a flop house, Adley can't get out from his shadow. I survived the war for this. Looks like he's had a broad up here. He must be heading home. You know, I hope he makes it. That crooked son of a bitch, no chance. What the hell? Does Albert have somebody special? I didn't see anyone in his corner at the fight. I guess a fighter has plenty of time on his hands between bouts. Instaheat. Adrian Black's product of choice. Seems like a lifetime ago. Candy has expensive taste. Albert has his work cut out for him. Who's Candy? Candy Edwards, the lady who filled out this coupon. All right, let's go after his girl, see if that gets us any closer. Looks like Albert has been doing some homework. 11 grand would be a nice little nest egg. angle if he has a real love interest. Let me through. I just All want right. a quick look. Let's go all... after his girl. See if that gets us any closer. Hey, don't mind me. Did you read about the woman who stabbed her husband and then pushed him in front of the car?
Hammond is over the hill. He's a punching bag for the up-and-comers. She knows his goddamn place. I think he knows. I think he worked out the place isn't L.A. He's punchy. His brain's going to mush. Winston Churchill? Give me a break. Churchill is a fighter, Roy. Hammond didn't just scribble down the first name he could think of. So, you boxed in the Marines? We all did. Standard training. I can't imagine you ever played dirty. The only prize for taking a fall was a thousand push-ups. We need to know which room is Candy's. LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Candy Edwards. Apartment 7. You take the outside stairs by the parking lot and turn left at the top. You friends of the Italian guy? Italian guy? Yeah. Sleazy type? Gave his name as Carlo. I didn't like the look of him, but Candy has some funny friends. Thanks. This candy broad must be as sweet as she sounds. All these gentlemen callers. Give it up, Sounds bitch. like we're missing all he's the fun. Get in there, Phelps. You know where he's hiding. Now tell me where he is before I cut you. I told you I haven't seen him. Like hitting women, do you? This isn't gonna end well for you, friend. Out cold, but breathing. Give her a minute and take a look around. Carlo here seems to have the same friends as Hammond. What are the odds on them all being bookmakers? Nasty weapon. All the Italians carry them. A real man uses his fists or a gun. She's leaving town. Single ticket, one way. I guess there isn't a lot for Albert in Ohio. Scania sails from New York. Take a seat, Miss Edwards. We have some questions for you to answer. 
Look, I haven't done anything wrong. Ever? I find that pretty hard to believe. Can you answer some questions now, Miss Edwards? Sure, I've had worse. I'll shake it off. We're trying to track down Albert Hammond. We have reason to believe he might be in danger. Do you know where he is? No, I don't. I'm over Albert. I haven't seen him. You know he won the fight. You know people are after him. I walked out on him. I'm sick of waiting around for him, nursing him when he's busted up, listening to his faded dreams. I got dreams too, you know. I'm sure you have. Do the names Harry, Mervyn, or Ray mean anything to you? Could be anybody. How the hell would I know? Give up these men, Miss Edwards, and we'll think about letting these charges against you slide. What? Charges against me? All I did was try and look out for Albert. Now he skips out and I have to take beatings from him as well? You're leaving town, Miss Edwards? Yes, I'm going straight home. You're lying to me. Albert finally won a big fight. I say good luck to him. But you know where he is. Let me help him, Candy. Do all you cops run off at the mouth? Prove I know where he is. I don't know where he is, and if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Well, get out of your way, Candy. We know you're a busy lady. Like I said, I've done nothing wrong. The LAPD expects a little more cooperation. You'd better watch your back, sister. Get out, Carlo, you hump. And get rid of that pig sticker. You ever pull that thing on me, I'll shoot you like a dog. That bitch knows where Hammond is. She knows where my money's gone. My money, too, tough guy. I'll handle this. Bad people are looking to hurt Candy, and yet she's not heading straight for the train station? I smell a payoff. I say stake her out, see where she goes. behind you.
Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. Bookmakers? Yes. Surprise, surprise. See him? A blonde woman just came in. I saw his picture in the paper. She went out the back way. Said she was being watched. How much did she collect? $3,600. She cleaned me out. On the Hammond Kid Galahad fight? You got it. I'm not complaining. We all made a lot of money on that one. Huge plunge on Galahad, and then Hammond knocks the bum out. So she collected the money and went out through the back door? Nope. She made a phone call over there, wrote something on a notepad, and then left. What are you doing? An old intelligence trick from the Marines. We know where she's headed. Let's get moving. Isn't that the cop who solved the big case and got promoted? I hope you got some money saved up. What's wrong with you? Detectives Phelps and Earl, LAPD. Relax, Cole. You just have a blonde in here, Mervyn? Sure did. I'm just about to close up. She took me to the cleaners. 4,000 clams and change. How long ago did she leave? Maybe five minutes. Called the cab. Asked for a number. I told her there was a card over there by the phone. Son, you're a couple of slates short of a full roof. Yellow cab. 
We need to get after her, fast. Operator, give me R and I. Can you connect me to the Yellow Cab Company, Hollywood 2187, please? This is Detective Phelps, LAPD. You dispatched a cab to 1487 Ivar Avenue, Hollywood? Yes, sir. Send one round from the pool. Do you have the number of that cab? Number 179. Thanks. We're done playing around. Get Mervyn to give us an address on Ray's place. You have any idea who Ray is? Sugar Ray. Not now, Mervyn. Cole doesn't have much of a sense of humor at the best of times. Ray runs a shop up on North Cherokee Avenue, just south of Hollywood Boulevard. This broad's planning on cleaning out every bookmaker in town. Hammond needed to make sure he was getting a bigger payday than if he'd taken the flop. Never trust the limeys, especially where a fight's concerned. A mistake we can't seem to stop making. Any sentry unit 484 just occurred, 3155 West 4th Street. Unit to handle code 3, identify. That's the cab waiting up ahead. She's not in the car. Don't get too close. She must be inside. We're on the move again, Cole. After her. Don't lose that cab. Can you quit driving like a jackass already? How many stops is she gonna make? Hammond is full of himself, being this sure he was gonna win.
That bitch has given me what I'm owed. That's all I know. God damn it. Everyone's looking at us, Cole. Pull over. She's heading inside. I think I just saw Hammett. I'll tail him. You get in there and stay with Candy. Make sure you don't let her see you. The only reason some people get lost in thought is because it's unfamiliar. You got a problem, pal? Hey, buddy. Mister, a man like you always loses a battle of wits because you're unarmed. See him? Saw his picture in the paper. Worked that case with the lady cut up like the Dahlia. <laughs> Sam's taking me out of Palm Springs. That's the guy from the papers. Solved that big problem. Ambulance. Hammond got away. <coughs> he said, Just try and sit still, Candy. Who shot you? Was it Albert? Card. I They're on the way. I have a patrolman searching the depot. The chief's putting together a manhunt for Hammond. He got the money, right? Looks like it. A tough bird, our limey friend using his girlfriend as the bag woman and then getting greedy over the split? He won't make it out of town. That's how you see it? I told you that cocksucker was a crook. Thirty-two caliber. One shot fired. The Egyptian theater. So, what now? The theater, I guess. We don't have much else to go on. I'm stumped. Ideas? Hammond must be hiding out the theater. Let's get there and square things up.
latest thing. Poor girl. She didn't deserve that. Poor girl. Half the precinct aren't taking a vacation this year because of her. You need to leave town a lot quicker than that if you decide to screw over Mickey C. This seems like a long shot. Aren't they all? Car 11 King. A message from the coroner. The cause of death was a knife wound. Repeat, a knife wound. The revolver appears to have belonged to the victim. Case Son of a bitch. Clear. He stabbed her. I thought you said real men use their fists, not guns. That guinea cocksucker. You think he got the money too? Come on, Roy. We're bringing this whole tragedy to its conclusion. Why'd you kill her, Carlo? Your gripe was with me. She was collecting the money for you. Mickey made it clear it was either me or you, and, and I intend to keep on living. She stole those betting slips. She was running out on me. And you were gonna let her? No, I let her collect. I set her up, just like she set me up. Just like my manager set me up. Everyone wanted me to take a dime. Everyone wanted me to take a short money. It's for the best, kid. You were washed up, kid! You couldn't climb, and you were too brave to sink. You were going nowhere! Maybe, but I had heart. I was a Royal Marine, Carlo. If I lost a fight, it wasn't for lack of trying. And it wasn't for lack of courage. I didn't have much. But I had that. I did it for you, and that's how you repay me! You did it for yourself, so did little boy. You did it and make a quick buck, and Candy did it and make her dream come true. Blah, blah, blah! I've got the money, all I need to do is get rid of you. It's gonna be a shame, kid, but that's business. We've heard enough, Arcaro. Put down your weapon. You're making a big mistake, Arcaro. You're clear. Go. Find some cover. Let's move. Come on, Cole. Carlo's a dead man. Handle two and I find him. Throw out the guns! Where are you? You mini cocksucker. Stay in cover! It's time to come out now, Hammond! Put the gun down, Roy. That son of a bitch owes me a lot of money. Catch. Escania sails from New York, Hammond. Be on the next train and don't ever come back. 
Why? Because I was a Marine, and I once lacked courage. Everyone deserves a second chance. Now beat it. Fuck you! That English prick is getting away with my money, Phelps! I'm hearing rumors of a fight that was fixed, of gangsters looking to get square, that LAPD cops might be involved. Either of you two sons of bitches know anything about that? No, sir. So, the dead wop who turned up in this theater, who used to be a boxing manager, who murdered Candy Edwards, has nothing to do with the fix? Absolutely not. Earl, you're doing venereal disease citations until you can learn to stop lying to me. Phelps, got anything to add? Uh, no, sir. Get your uniform from your locker. You're back on the street. Phelps! Second floor, apartment six, in the back. Thanks. Bukowski, you made homicide. That I did. Good to see you, Phelps. You two want a hug? How can we get on with it? Relax, Rusty. 26 years old, fashion model. Found in the tub by the cleaning lady, Mrs. Reynoldson. She called it in. We heard Carruthers thinks... Carruthers likes to make work for people. Overdose of sleeping pills. Falls asleep in the tub. Rest in peace. Case closed. Here, here. Mal is 100% that it's murder. Do you mind if I take a look around? Sure. Go right ahead. Phelps? Mal. We've had a look around. Rusty thinks it's a waste of time. What's your theory? Come on, Mal. Tell us why we were dragged down here. If the victim was alive when she entered the tub, water would have entered her lungs. The water is violently churned in the windpipe as she drowns. The result is that a lot of foam is generated. This foam is found at the mouth and nostrils in almost all cases of real drowning. Notice anything about our Vic? No, yeah, I took a look. Be my guest. Take a closer look at her head and neck. Her neck is bruised pretty badly.
bruising on the forearms, and these look like bite marks. Very good. Very unusual ring. I could be wrong, but it looks like a black sapphire. The eyes are a classic sign of morphine, and the bruises tell their own story. I think one man held her down, and another held her arm and injected her. They put her in the bath to try to cover it as a drowning. And spread a trail of barbiturates. Take a look around outside on your way out and see if you can find the serrets. It would make my theory. And morphine would have been very quick, and there wouldn't have been much of a struggle. Okay. So find two guys who recently bought serrets and weren't junkies, and you might be onto something. Not much help. Quality English smoking jacket. I don't know anyone under forty-five who would wear one. Okay. Looks like barbiturates. What else is rattling around in this thing? We should speak to a doctor. Prescribing both drugs would make her life a roller coaster. I'm Detective Phelps. I'm here to try and help Julia. Do you mind answering some questions? Virginia Reynoldson, I'm just so shocked. I feel like there's something I should be doing, someone I should call. We can make those calls, ma'am. Who needs to be notified? That's just it. I don't know. Miss Julie doesn't have any family in town. Someone has to set her affairs in order. Um, Mr. Henderson, maybe? I... Who else is there? I, I don't know. If you give the details to the other detectives, ma'am, they can try and get in contact. Was Miss Randall depressed about something? Upset? No more than normal. So she wasn't mad at anyone in particular? No. Men were usually besotted with Miss Julia, not the other way around. I don't think Miss Julia was ever in love with anyone. Did Miss Randall have many friends visit? I'm not sure. I only come around twice a week. But you cleaned up after parties. Yes, I did. Sometimes beforehand. She was always so glamorous. She had the most beautiful clothes and jewelry. She could be hard, Miss Julie. What was it like? Working for Miss Randall. Perfectly fine, officer. Mrs. Reynoldson, it seems like there's something you want to tell me. She was very high strung. Lovely one moment and screaming at you the next. She wanted it all and she wanted it damn quick. Of course, being so beautiful, it seemed like she was going to get it. Not the way it's turned out, though, is it? Thanks, Mrs. Reynoldson. You've been very helpful. One of the other detectives will take your statement, and then you can go home. This is 
all top end of town stuff. Gives us somewhere to look. certainly aren't from the Sears catalog. There's been a modeling assignment. It's a place to start. Circumstantial. Not sure this means much. Not everything here is going to be relevant. good to me. Stefan Rusty, we'll take a look around outside and then follow up these leads. Can you get some guys to run down the jacket? You think Carruthers has called it right? He rarely gets it wrong. I don't know. I'm a Galloway. I've met enough girls in my time who can't handle their dope. Bukowski, Galloway, quite the little reunion in there. Almost brought. Thank God we're not in my car. They're good police. How would you know? You got promoted so fast you barely had time to learn their names. Let me fill you in. Bukowski's a pushover. Galloway's a drunk. You could learn a thing or two from both of them. Please. They couldn't work a vice case if their life depended on it. I don't see why they'd be any better or worse at it than me. I notice you said better. Hubris disguised as humility. Kind of your trademark, don't you think? Why do you always twist everything? Galloway's got nothing to prove. He's been on homicide for years. And he's welcome to it. You're a terrier, Phelps, and that's what I need. Not some old bulldog who can't get up a flight of stairs without coughing up his lunch. Look where you're going!
Here, Stoneman, Office 505. I swear, if we locked up every doctor in this town, Vice would be able to work half days. Yes, sir, your name? LAPD. We'd like to see Dr. Stoneman. Dr. Stoneman is with a patient. Would you like to wait? No, we wouldn't. Tell him we want to see him now. There's no need to be rude. Save it, sister. Dr. Stoneman, I have some gentlemen from the LAPD here to see you. Um, send them in, please. I'll, uh, I'll see this patient again after they've left. Your investigation is much more important than my sciatica. I'm just in pain here. Leave me alone. Dr. Stoneman, we are investigating the death of one of your patients, Julia Randall. I'm very sorry to hear that. Do you mind if we ask you some questions about Ms. Randall? Uh, um... Not if it doesn't compromise doctor-patient privilege, detective. How well did you know Miss Randall? Barely at all. Um, she'd only been a patient six months or so. You didn't like her, did you? It wasn't a question of like, detective. She was incredibly beautiful. When you looked in her eyes, you knew how a mouse felt before a snake. Not an ounce of warmth there. You wrote Julia Randall a prescription for Benzedrine. How can you account for that? Miss Randall was in the uh, fashion business. She wanted to control her weight. Benzedrine is addictive, as I'm sure you know, doctor. As I warned her, but she was determined. She said she needed it to control her appetite. Sounds like you knew her pretty well. I knew the line of work she was involved in. That'll be all for now, Dr. Stoneman. We'll be in touch. Junk. Probably nothing. This isn't what we're looking for. Maybe if... No.
So what next? What are we missing? Let's go back to the apartment. The old boy is lying. About what? I don't know. He looked relieved when you said she was dead. That's a strange reaction.